Welcome to my channel. My name is Megan. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe below. We do a ton of Nespresso content as well as unboxings and reviews of products that will help make your life easier. Today we are doing a Nespresso uh, kind of like review slash recipe. So I have tried this pod on my channel in the advent calendar video. If you haven't seen that, I will link it for you below or at the end of this video. But this is part of the holiday collection. It is in infinitely double espresso it is a collaboration with a french pastry chef and i just think the packaging this year is so pretty so like i said this is double espresso it's just a black espresso and what they say about it is infinitely double espresso makes an art form of black coffee grown with care this colombian arabica hails from tolima a region we are discovering more masterfully roasted to highlight sweet cereal, vibrant red fruit, and woody notes. This season's double espresso is an ode to the art of those who play with taste. So this is a six out of 11 intensity and the double espresso sizes are 2.7 fluid ounces. So I'm just gonna brew this over the holiday chocolate, I guess. It's uh, like a raspberry dark chocolate by Nespresso and the same pastry chef. So I'm not sure if this is still available. I would check like your boutiques or like online in your country, but this is what the packaging looks like. I will say I don't love the packaging for Nespresso chocolate because every time I like try to lift it, I just spill all of the chocolate out, but that's okay. So we're just gonna put this in a cup. And then I'm just gonna froth some Califia Farms oat milk. I will link this below too. This is my favorite oat milk. It's shelf stable. I get it on Amazon for pretty inexpensive. So yeah, let's try this out. So this is a pretty strong espresso. I guess it's only a six out of 11, but like for me, the double espressos just feel a lot stronger than the single espressos. Um, it is a lot of caffeine for me, but I should have probably used a bigger mug, but we'll see. Yeah, so I think the chocolate definitely makes it like a bit more like rich and probably brings out those like fruity flavors a little bit more since it is a like raspberry flavored. I guess it just says berry, but the coffee this year is like raspberry. So I just assume it's also raspberry chocolate, but it brings out like those berry flavors in the coffee too. So... Let's try adding some oat milk. Usually I haven't liked like the berry notes in Nespresso coffee, but with this line, I found that those berry notes are just a little bit more subtle and like natural tasting than some of the other ones in the past. So I have actually liked them. And if you are able to purchase all three of the holiday uh, pods, I would definitely recommend it. yeah with the oat milk for me it's a lot better just like I prefer my coffee with milk but it definitely just makes it a lot smoother to drink and since my ratio there was about like half and half uh espresso and um milk it's pretty strong still you can still taste all of those notes in the coffee itself mm. Yeah, it's definitely not sweet when you add the chocolate, but if you wanted to add some sweetness, you can always add like some simple syrup or like a mocha uh, flavored syrup or just some Splenda. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a quick video, but let me know uh, if you've tried this pod from the holiday line and what your favorite recipes have been so far. I will see you next time.